I want distinguished guests, delegates, a very good evening and a warm welcome. We're getting ready for the inauguration ceremony of the 44th annual general annual gathering of the 17th Asia-Pacific Institute of Broadcasting Development, the general conference and associated meetings organized by the National Channel Sri Lanka Rupaini Corporation. In a few moments of time, we will witness the arrival of our chief guests, the Honorable Mangala Samaravira, Minister of Finance and Mass Media, together with the Honorable John Amaratunga, Minister of Tourism, Development and Christian Religious Affairs, as well as Honorable Lasantala Givanna, Deputy Minister of Finance and Mass Media, together with the AIBD presenters. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we also would like to uh, very warmly welcome all of you to this beautiful island of Sri Lanka and to enjoy the hospitality that we do offer with a bright smile, as we do to everybody who walks into our lovely nation. So, ladies and gentlemen, we also need to say a very warm welcome to Dr. Abbas Nazeri Tahiri, President of the AIBD General Conference and Director General International Affairs and Advisor to the President of IRIB Iran. To Mr. Chang Jin, Director, Asia Pacific Institute of Broadcasting Development, and Dr. Javad Mothagi, Secretary General of the Asia Pacific Broadcasting Union, the ABU. The Honorable Minister was received by the Chairperson of Sri Lanka Rupani Corporation, Ms. Inoka Satyangani Kirtinanda, together with Mr. Tusira Malewethantri, Attorney at Law, Director General of the Sri Lanka Rupani Corporation, on behalf of the Host Organizing Committee. Once again, I born a very good evening and a warm welcome to our chief guest, the Honorable Mangala Samaravira, Minister of Finance and Mass Media, the Honorable John Amaratunga, Minister of Tourism, Development and Christian Religious Affairs, the Honorable Lasantala Gevanna, Deputy Minister of Finance and Mass Media, together with the President of the AIBD, General Conference and Director General of International Affairs and Advisor to the President, IR. IB of Iran, Dr. Abbas Nazeri Taheri. And also a very warm welcome to Mr. Chang Jin, Director, Asia Pacific Institute of Broadcasting Development, the AIBD, and Dr. Javad Motagi, Secretary General of the Asia Pacific Broadcasting Union, the ABU. We very warmly welcome all of you and our dignitaries present this evening to join us at the 44th annual gathering in the 17th AIBD General Conference and Associated Meetings inaugural ceremony. And to all of you joining us on live on Channel I this evening. Also a very, very good evening and a warm welcome. To our delegates who are present here with us for the very first time, we'd like you to please focus your attention towards the screen now as we bring you the essence of Sri Lanka. A nation blessed with a human civilization of more than 2,500 years. Many archaeological evidence to prove it. Artistic creations, frescoes and building structures mesmerize the world even today. lifestyle and the artistic creations which are considered as world heritages make Sri Lanka more exciting and colorful. Different dancing styles and cultural items unique to each province reflects the talents and vibrancy of the Sri Lankans. The sea around the country soothing for various water sports. 
A concealed picturesque coral garden in the seabed can be explored if you're a good diver. A galore of sea life will greet you there. Golden sandy beaches, bordering shallow and deep seas as well as rare animal species that offer you a diverse experience will take you to a new world. Sri Lanka is home to both largest land and sea mammals and at times the habitats are located close to each other. You will step into a beautiful island with animal species in tropical forests. Various types of birds, numerous animal species in rainforests. Experience the scenic beauty of our island paradise while traveling by rain. Breathtaking tea cultivations which is one of the major revenues of economy. Mouth-watering Sri Lankan cuisine seasoned with native spices. Diverse customs representing ethnic diversity. Everyone's precious as Sri Lankan gems. Your next destination is our island paradise. Ivo and Sri Lanka. Right, we're thrilled to have you all with us here this evening, and this is our way of saying I want to all of you. Are you born indeed? And may you be blessed with longevity as we would wish everybody who walks into this beautiful island. And um, I think we have something very important to begin with. That's right, telling you the importance of today's event. Ladies and gentlemen, the AIBD was established in the year 1977 under the patronage of UNESCO. It is hosted by the government of Malaysia and the Secretariat, which is located in Kuala Lumpur. The AIBD is a mandate to achieve a vibrant and cohesive electronic media environment in the Asia-Pacific region through policy and resource development. Now, the Sri Lanka Rupaini Corporation, being the national channel, is a member of the AIBD. As such, it has enjoyed the benefits provided in technical assistance and training opportunities. And in the year 2017, the Asia Media Summit held in China, the member countries unanimously decided that Sri Lanka should host the 44th annual gathering and the 17th AIBD General Conference in Colombo. Tonight, Apart from the inauguration ceremony, we recognize the winners and the runners-up of the ARBD Radio and TV Awards as we celebrate the achievements and true award recipient for their unstinted support. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that in summary is what we hope to do today. And to welcome you all on behalf of uh, the organizing committee of Sri Lanka Rupa Mahani Corporation, let me call upon for opening remarks Mr. Tusira Malawe Tantri, Director General of Sri Lanka Rupa Mahani Corporation, to do the honors. Please put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen.
Honorable Mangal Samarvira, Minister of Finance and Mass Media, Honorable John Namartunga, Minister of Tourism, Honorable Lasanta Alagewana, Deputy Minister of Media, Dr. Abbas Nasiri Tahiri, President AIBD General Conference, Mr. Chanjin, Director AIBD, Dr. Jawad Motaji, Secretary General ABU, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me a great pleasure to offer you a warm welcome on behalf of all of the organizers of this important event. Colombo host city to the 44th annual gathering of the AIBD General Conference and its associated meetings is, of course, a natural setting for an international media conference and the importance of this gathering is evident from the list of dis distinguished participants and speakers. There cannot have been many other occasions on which such a breadth of senior representatives of all sectors of the journalism industry, industry have been under the same roof at the same time. If quality of attendance is a guarantee of quality of results, then this conference is already a success. I believe that the nature of this conference is also quite unique. The idea of bringing together all part of the journalism industry in order to reflect on how each country could contribute to achieving higher quality in journalism is somewhat unique, given the great complicity and competition in this particular field. We are highly honored that Honorable Mangala Samarvira, the Minister of Finance and Mass Media, is among us today, and he will deliver the keynote address this evening. This encouragement from the higher echelon of the government, plus the valuable support of several ministers and many senior officials, testifies to the importance that the government places on this conference. We must also acknowledge the support that the steering committee for the AIBD conference has enjoyed from the Minister of Finance and Mass Media. I would also like to take this opportunity to express my deep gratitude to the Minister of Tourism and particularly to Honorable John Namrutsunga for his support and cooperation in organizing this event. We are honored today with the presence of Honorable Lasanta Alagewana, the Deputy Minister of Mass Media in our midst. I especially welcome Dr. Abbas Nasiri Tahiri, President AIBD General Conference. I would like to take this opportunity to, to welcome and thank AIBD Director Mr. Chanjing. Participants here are successful media leaders in their own rights. They make their home countries proud of their achievements. To all delegates, I would like to welcome and salute them with my tribute. This is our moment of pride and you are the source and secret of our strength. Your presence, we consider, is the most precious gift for us. Ladies and gentlemen, today, the Sri Lanka Rupaini Corporation is not just a celebrated organization. This event is a celebration of itself. I would like to welcome Mrs. Inoka Satyangani Kirtinanda, the chairperson of the SLRC. I would like to express my deep appreciation and sincere thanks to the members of IR International Relations Unit and its executive committee for their personal support to me in carrying out my responsibilities. They have given me strength, courage, and wisdom, and they have shared the responsibility equally but differently. Believe me, my only contribution is in, in organizing this event has been to lead and translate the unified collective directive of our organization into an effective institutional framework. The credit of SLRC's achievement, therefore, goes to them and them alone. I welcome and thank the sponsors of the conference, particularly sponsorship from Sri Lanka Tourism, as it is their support that has helped us to organize this event. We would also like to welcome Mr. Kumar Singh Sirisena, Chairman of Sri Lanka Telecom. I also welcome the journalists and media groups who
who are here in great numbers to cover this important event. Friends from Fiji to Pakistan, Seychelles to the Philippines, and China to Maldives, although we live under different national flags, our dreams are one, our visions are similar, and our aspirations are identical to achieve excellence in social, cultural, academic, economic, and political lives. With more than 50 participants from 17 countries, this truly is an international event of global importance. Ladies and gentlemen, I once again welcome you all. Your next few days are packed with brainstorming sessions, and I do hope that you will find the content and context of the conference useful. A one-day excursion will take place on Saturday, 4th August, to the city of Gaul in the down south. Its old town is one of the most well-preserved historic city, blessed with Dutch colonial buildings, ancient mosques and churches, grand mansions and museums. Ministers, ladies and gentlemen and friends, before I conclude, I would like to quote Thomas Woodrow Wilson, an American statesman and academic who served as the 28th President of the United States, who once said, we cannot be separated in interest or divided in purpose. We stand together until the end. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, the 44th annual gathering of the 17th AIBD General Conference and Associated Meetings organized by the Sri Lanka Rupani Corporation wouldn't have been possible without our main sponsor, that is Sri Lanka Tourist Promotion Bureau, as well as the national digital service provider, Sri Lanka Telecom. Well, ladies and gentlemen, before we move into anything else, we have a word from our partners. sponsor Sri Lanka Tourism Promotion Bureau National Digital Service Provider SLT Fiber the smart line sponsorship partners all right we um, want to give you the warmest of traditional cultural welcomes this evening and to do that we are going to welcome on stage um, some very important people. That's right. A glimpse of Sri Lanka's best. Please put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, as we leave it to you with a bit of a surprise. And uh, we have on stage the Army Band and the Performing Arts Troupe. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. Let's welcome them on stage.
sponsor Sri Lanka Tourism Promotion Bureau, National Digital Service Provider. SLT Fiber, the smart line. Sponsorship Partners. Once again, we'd like to say thank you to our partners for associating us as well. Ladies and gentlemen, at this moment of time, I have the esteem, honor, and privilege now of inviting Dr. Abbas Nasseri Taheri, the President of the AIBD General Conference and Director General of the International Affairs and Advisor to the President, IRIB, Iran. Please put your hands together as he delivers the welcoming remarks, Dr. Abbas Nasseri. In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful. Honorable Mangala Samarawira, Minister of Finance and Mass Media, Government of the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka. Honorable John Amaratunga, Minister of Tourism Development and Christian Religious Affairs, Government of the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka. Ms. Inoka Satyangani Kitinanda, Chairperson of Sri Lanka Rupavahini Cooperation, SLRC. Mr. Tusira Malawantari, Director General, SLRC. And Mr. Changjin, Director of the Asia Pacific Institute for Broadcasting Development, AIBD. Delegates to the 17th AIBD General Conference and Associated Meetings, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Today's gathering in a time to examine not only how we performed the past year, but also how we as members and partners of AABD can pursue creative collaboration and effective partnership for media training and other initiatives that contribute to sustainability of media and development in society. The challenges facing broadcasting within and outside the region today are large and growing. Technologies are multiplying. Audiences are fragmenting. New platforms are constantly being invented. Experts talk about the fourth industrial revolution in our midst, characterized by a much more ubiquitous and mobile internet by smaller and more powerful sensors that have become cheaper and by artificial intelligence and machine learning. Everywhere, funding is under pressure. And in many countries, questions arise about what new business models work, what technologies fit, and what new skills and competence are needed to meet these challenges. We in Asia Pacific, as one of the most promising regions for media business, should establish a new spirit for creative collaboration and a better and more effective media partnership for the future of the Institute. For the past year, AABD has successfully implemented 31 workshops and conducted the Asia Media Summit in New Delhi, India, as well as the AABD annual media research. The Institute is in the midst of crafting a stronger strategic plan for the next four and a half years. Ultimately, our mission is to continue to offer a regional platform for effective discourse and exchange of information and experience. It will also provide innovative training programs and relevant research to build human resource capacity and competence. Equally important is to continue identifying creative ways to partner with members and other organizations 
that best meets our mutual objectives. So how best can we pursue this innovative collaboration and effective partnership? Some experts suggest a few strategies for purposeful engagement. It must be excellently executed, not haphazard or amateurish in process. It must have a vision with specific goals. It must be engaging and nurtured continuously. That's why we as members of the AIBD family must continue to deepen our relationships and make a difference for media success. Let me thank Sri Lanka Rupa Vahini Cooperation, SLRC, for their hospitality and generosity in hosting our general conference. My sincerest gratitude as well to all our members and our partners for media development present here and to the AIBD Secretariat. Thank you for your attention. It's a pleasure to have you here as well, Dr. Abbas Nasseri. Thank you very much for your kind words. Thank you very much, sir. And now I'd like to welcome on stage uh, for his address, the Honorable John Amaratunga, Minister of Tourism Development and Christian Religious Affairs. Let's put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. Minister of Finance and Mass Media, Honorable Mangala Samarvira, the Honorable Lasanta Alagiwana, the State Minister for Media, the President of the Asia Pacific Institute for Broadcasting Development, Dr. Abbas Tihari, Chairman of the Rupahani Corporation, the Director General, Distinguished delegates who are here this evening, invitees, ladies and gentlemen. As Minister of Tourism, I would like to extend a warm welcome to all of you who have traveled from various parts of Asia, Pacific regions to attend this 44th annual general gathering and the 70th AIVB general conference which is being held in Colombo for the very first time. When the DD of the Rupo Haini first approached me to seek my advice and assistance of the Sri Lanka tourism to host this event, I did not hesitate a minute as I realized the importance of the conference where the main participants would be leading broadcasters of the Asia Pacific region. And I, from the tourism perspective of Sri Lanka, needs all the exposure it can get to inform the world that it is a safe, secure, exciting destination for both tourism and business and the fact that it is ready to welcome the world. Today, broadcasters play an important role in informing people about current affairs and more importantly in shaping influence global thinking. I remember when television was first introduced, the pundits predicted that it would kill the print media. That was the perception of the, some of those people in the print media. That never happened. Then they predicted that all social media will kill television and radio. That too also did not happen. So the bottom line is that broadcasters the world over are 
stronger than ever. I congratulate the Asia Pacific Institute of Broadcasting Development for the role it continues to play in creating a vibrant and a cohesive media environment in the Asia Pacific region, which today is one of the world's fastest growing region led by China and India. Half of Sri Lanka's total tourist arrivals up to the month of June this year have been mostly from Asia Pacific region. Even more encouraging is the fact that the arrivals from the region year to year up to June have grown by an impressive 20%. I have to touch a little on my subject, otherwise I'll be failing in my duties. I'm sure that with the destination exposure that will follow as a result of this conference, the numbers will grow further. As you would have seen in the screen here, before we started, we know what was being said about our destination. I commend the IIB for recognizing the importance of sustainable tourism by rewarding the pioneering efforts of broadcasters on this subject. Today, while our arrival numbers continue to grow on a monthly basis, <coughs> our forecast is firmly fixed on the sustainability of the industry. I encourage you to capture these efforts. If you your broadcast media and take it to your respective audiences back home, Sri Lanka has a lot to tell the world about democracy, development, and tourism. It is the desire of the government to make tourism a priority industry, given the vast resources we have been blessed with, the inherited prosperity of our people. Tourism, which is now the third highest foreign exchange earner, is firmly on its way to become the top forces earner in the near future. Our arrival numbers have grown from 400,000 in 200, 2009 to an estimated 2.5 million this year. The accompanying development in tourism infrastructure, roads, sports, airports, hotels, etc., is unprecedented and the, is a story itself. In the next couple of months, Sri Lanka will be inaugurating the South Asia tallest broadcast tower which is now dominating Colombo skyline. It symbolizes the transformation of our city to a modern me metropolis with tourism at the heart of the economic activity in Colombo, will soon be the entertainment hub for the Southeast Asian region with world-class entertainment and a global headliner performing in the city on a regular basis. As the Minister of Tourism, I invite you to explore the country, very important, and, and its diverse attractions during your stay here and take back with you the success story of the tourism industry from my side. Once again, before I end, I would like to congratulate the mass media of Sri Lanka under the leadership of our Honorable Minister Mangala Samarvira who is an expert on the subject. He is not the minister of yesterday, but has been uh, heading this subject for long years. I have to uh, congratulate him for, for his leadership. The Rupohani Corporation is today a very responsible mass media. They are, unlike some other private channels, they know what they should say and what they should not say. I congratulate the chairman and the DG for the wonderful work that you are doing in projecting Sri Lanka's image. Thank you very much, and I hope all of you who are here will enjoy your stay. Uh, after you finish your deliberations, please move out of Kalambo. The better side of Sri Lanka is outside Kalambo. Kalambo is all concrete jungle. As you know, it's fast, fast developing. Of course, we have the beaches, but the better uh, enjoyment for you will be to move down south or go in mid-country. 
There is so much to see and enjoy. The diversity is enormous. Plus, that uh, in addition to your deliberations of the subject to which you have assembled here, it is also important to see the country which you have come. So once again, may I congratulate the chairman and the DG of the AIBD for having selected uh, uh, Colombo to be your venue to have your 44th annual general conference. And I pray that you have a very fruitful and a successful deliberations uh, in your meetings in the days to come. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Sir. John Amaratunga, Minister of Tourism, Development and Christian Religious Affairs. Ladies and gentlemen, we are honored with the presence of our chief guest this evening, the Honorable Mangala Samaravira, Minister of Finance and Mass Media. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I believe no inauguration function would be complete without the keynote being delivered by the chief guest himself. Let me warmly welcome Honorable Mangala Samaravira, Minister of Finance and Mass Media, to do the honors of delivering the keynote address this evening. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Honorable John Amaratunga, Minister of Tourism, De Development, and Christian Affairs. Deputy Minister for Finance and Media, Honorable Lassantala Givana. His Excellency, the Ambassador to Iran, whom I just saw now. Dr. Abbas Nazeri Taheri. President of the AIBD General Conference, Mr. Abdul Wahid, Abdul Wahid, Abdul Hamid, excuse me, Chairman of the AIBD Executive Board, Mr. Chang Jin, Secretary to the General Conference, Secretary to the Ministry of Finance and Media and other distinguished invitees, distinguished delegates, Ladies and gentlemen, let me at the outset thank you for inviting me to address the inaugural session of the 44th General Gathering and the 17th General Conference of the Asia-Pacific Institute for Broadcasting Development. On behalf of the government of Sri Lanka, I wish to welcome all of you to Sri Lanka from 26 member countries and 67 affiliate organizations of the ABID. The Asia Pacific Institute for Broadcasting De Development envisions achieving a vibrant and cohesive electronic media environment through policy and resource development. It is therefore opportune for Sri Lanka to host the 17th AIBD General Conference to share our national experience with you. The, I, the IBD has been in existence since 1977 as an intergovernmental organization to create a well-informed society by promoting regional cooperation. Your deliberations at the General Conference and other affiliated meetings in the next two days will be useful to build a new media culture in our region. Your partners from the United Nations, such as the UNDP, UNESCO, and ITU, must be encouraged to play an enhanced role for us to learn from other regions. Ladies and gentlemen, we today live in an era of empowered societies where people enjoy unrestrained individual freedom. With the emergence of social media, a new generation of youth, whom many of us call millennials, are now very actively participating in shaping up our societies. They are IT literate as well connected, as well connected to each other, independent and very powerful communicators. <coughs> many of you in the broadcasting industry must be familiar with the emerging competition between the traditional media and the increasing number of social media networks. 
our formal media networks have a greater challenge to provide truthful, accurate, and reliable news faster while preserving media values and ethics. Instead of compromising our values in the, in, in the face of fierce competition, <coughs> we must work hard to preserve the professionalism uh, journalism requires. I strongly believe that journalists are duty-bound to report news without fabrication, despite temptations to compete with those who propagate false news or fake news. From the perspective of governments, we also cannot fear the media or the free media. I believe media censoring, imposing circulars and restrictions to control the media hamper the fundamental values in our societies and violate our basic human rights. In fact, censure, censorship in this era is a self-defeating exercise. As far back as 1948, the United Nations adopted the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which until today remains the flagship statement on international human rights. By Article 19, it guarantees everyone's right to freedom of opinion and expression, and it is our duty, I believe, to uphold these values, which are not regional or localized. These are universal values. Uh, revisiting those values, I think, especially at this juncture in the history of the world, will be very timely. The IBD as a regional intergovernmental organization could continue to train and equip media practitioners with best professional skills to gain broader freedoms for our media. I can vouch that my government stands ready, ready to support all your efforts. In Sri Lanka, the unity government that came into office in 2015 brought changes to the ensuing culture of violence against media. We enacted the Right to Information Act three years ago, uh, two years ago in 2016, which has been ranked third in the Global Right to Information rating. This, this new legislature, legislature facilitates greater openness and transparency in governance while ensuring access to information for all citizens. Today, as I said earlier, we are proud to have a very vibrantly free media culture. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, I would take this opportunity to thank in particular our national television, Sri Lanka Rupawahini Corporation and its chairperson, Mrs. Inoka Satyangani uh, Kirtinanda, and also the director general of the Rupawahini Corporation, Mr. Tusira Malavatantri, for hosting the IBD's 17th General Conference here in Sri Lanka. And I wish all your deliberations all success in the next few days. And as the Honorable Minister of Tourism uh, said, I hope you get some time to see other parts of our beautiful island while you're here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister, for your words. And um, before we move into the next segment, which is going to be uh, another cultural item, a note from our partners once again. Main sponsor, Sri Lanka Tourism Promotion Bureau, National Digital Service Provider. SLT Fiber, the smart line. Sponsorship Partners Well ladies and gentlemen you witness a peacock dance and now we're getting ready to bring you a up country and low country dance in Sri Lanka's tradition if you go towards the outer streams you'll find uh, a devil dance being done to 
get over the sicknesses of different ailments and different cultures that celebrates different occasions. And we're ready to bring you a presentation of that nature right now with the Sri Lanka Army Dance Troupe.
Tourism Sponsor, Sri Lanka Tourism Promotion Bureau, National Digital Service Provider. SLT Fiber, the smart line. Sponsorship Partners. Sri Lanka Army Dance Troupe for you, ladies and gentlemen, bringing in a highly ritualistic dance to appease the evil spirits. From spirits to celebrations now, ladies and gentlemen, we commence the awards presentation for the AIBD TV and radio. The AIBD TV Awards was initiated in the year 2002 by the AIBD in order to recognize the quality of its member programs, the quality of programming to its members, and awards has been constantly evolving based on credibility, support of its members. Now that's on AIBD TV, whereas on AIBD Radio, we're ready to recognize the Reinhard Kern Memorial Award as well as the best radio program which will be recognized in a few moments. All right, to do the honors, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to begin by inviting AIBD Director Mr. Chang Jin and Dr. Naziri Taheri to present the certificates to our winners this evening. And for the awards presentation, I'd like to invite the Honorable John Amratunga, Minister of Tourism and Christian Religious Affairs, accompanied by Mrs. Inoka Satyangani Kirtinanda, the Chairperson of Sri Lanka Rupavahini Corporation. Ladies and gentlemen, can we give a round of applause to our presentation party while we have a look at our first category, TV Awards. I started to hear voices, you know. Burn, burn, kill, kill, die. It was terrifying. I didn't know that there was such a thing as depression. I didn't know, like, self-harm was a thing. To me, it was just all cutting, or Like, it's just cutting. Singapore is such a high-pressure society academically. A lot of times, they have no place to be able to express themselves, to be the authentic self. Um, I think that if I got retained, I would have like maybe killed myself. The AIBD TV Award for the best TV program on youth mental health. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner from Channel News Asia Singapore is Jen Tsai. Unfortunately, she's not present here this evening and we have a representative from AIBD to collect on her behalf. Let's put our hands together, ladies and gentlemen, one more time for Channel News Asia, Singapore. And thank you very much to uh, Madam Satyangani Kirtinanda for being on stage. We'd like to now invite Mr. Tusira Malawi Tantri, Director General of Sri Lanka Rupa Mahini Corporation, to join the presentation party. Can we put our hands together, ladies and gentlemen, for Director General of Sri Lanka Rupa Mahini Corporation, Mr. Tusira Malawi Tantri. And here we go for the AIBD TV Award, the Best TV Program winner. In tonight's Friday special on PTV World, we will be talking about the internet and its social usage. How people in Pakistan, how different companies in Pakistan are using internet to their advantage and to the advantage of the people around them in Pakistan, otherwise known as netizens. The political construct and the social construct of this term, social media, mm. is very damaging to internet itself. Because social media is not internet and vice versa. Mm. Internet is not social media. What we highlight usually is the, the wrongdoings of police. Mm. What we don't highlight is 
what they do every every night, every day, every morning. I'm just not doing it through Facebook, but Twitter as well. I had one of the major uh, artists to support. It was Majid Jahangir, uh, one of the old actor comedian from 5050. Tonight at 8 or 5 p.m. only on TV One. Ladies and gentlemen, the AIBD TV Award for the best TV program on netizens uplifting society through internet. Please put your hands together for Farhan Dogar from PTV World, Pakistan. Let's hear it one more time, ladies and gentlemen, to our winner. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister. Thank you very much, Mr. Malawi Tantri. Thank you for being on stage. And um, now we'd like to invite on stage, before we move into the radio awards, Honorable Lasanta Legiavana, Deputy Minister, Ministry of Finance and Mass Media, and also Mr. Sudarshana Gunavardhana, Director General of the Department of Government Information. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to announce the Radio Awards, which is aimed to recognize the achievements of radio industry in the Asia-Pacific region. And the winning trailer. From slum to glory. The 16-year-old wonder boy Nisar Ahmed's dream. I have a dream that I will become the first Indian who can give the medal in the Olympics in 100 meters. A role model for the youth. The whole media across India was calling him Junior Usain Bolt. Lofty dreams of a humble mother. I want to give the medal to the Olympics. She said that uh, Nisar Ahmed is not just my son, he is India's son. Dedicating his son to the nation. Selfless service of a coach. Sports knows no boundaries. There is nothing better than sport to unify the world. Talented individuals, such deserving individuals. This is just the beginning of a wonderful and remarkable journey for Nisar Ahmed, sprinting from slum to glory. Ladies and gentlemen, the AIBD Radio Award for the best program on diversity through sports. The winner this evening, Sharmila Goswami of All India Radio. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now getting ready to recognize the fourth category. And uh, before we go there, thank you very much, Honorable Minister. Thank you very much to Mr. Gunavadana for being on stage. We'd like to now invite Dr. R.H.S. Samratunga, Secretary to the Ministry of Finance and Mass Media, and Mr. Siddi Mohammed Farooq, Chairman of the Sri Lanka Broadcasting Corporation, to do the honors of presenting the next award. Can we put our hands together for our presentation party, ladies and gentlemen? And here's a look at the winning trailer.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Reinhard Kerner Memorial Radio Award for the best radio program on uplifting communities through sustainable tourism. Please put your hands together for the winner, Zhou Bing from China National Radio. We'd like to have a representative of the NRTA to collect on his behalf this evening. Congratulations with that. We'd like to say thank you to Mr. Cheng Jing, Dr. Abbas, as well as Dr. Samarathunga, the Secretary of the Ministry of Finance and Mass Media, and Mr. Siddhi Mohamed Farooq. Thank you very much for joining us on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, this will conclude the inauguration ceremony. We certainly hope you will have a fantastic conference that kicks off from today till the 4th of August. And as the dignitaries mentioned, please make sure that you explore a little bit of Sri Lanka and Colombo and see its beauty. Well, ladies and gentlemen, once again, a very warm welcome to our beautiful island nation. Do enjoy the rest of your stay and also hope you do have two great days ahead of you. Thank you very much and wish you all a very pleasant stay here in Sri Lanka. And for the folks watching at home, we're going to hand you back to the main control room. Thank you very much and good night.